Hey guys, Fabulik here today and welcome back to Prison Architect. So we are going to be moving this holding cell door as per the comments uh, suggestions because if we just move the door to this hallway it means we can turn this whole top section into staff only which I think makes a lot of sense instead of just that little bit there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and dismantle that door and dismantle the... Oh. Okay. Dismantle the uh, little uh, door servo. We're going to dismantle that bench because we're going to have to move that too. Uh, and then we're going to move the door. Over here, you got a door, you got a gym. That's what we're going to do. Put the put the bench there, and we're just going to get out the brick wall here. So that'll be good. And then we're obviously going to have to move that door servo as well to be here on top of it. Uh, just going to wait for them to hurry up and do all the work that I just ordered them to do. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. And then similarly, we're going to move some doors around down here so we can get some metal detectors for that whole area, which we currently do not have. Uh, so that's going to be there. Then we're going to go ahead and connect that up to, I guess, one of these. This one has less things on it so oh no there's cctv never mind uh i guess i should probably use this one because this is all for the top doors so that will go there all right so now we're gonna go ahead and do a deployment for this area to be staff only perfect so now that whole top section i mean <laughs> the armory isn't that probably should be that all that section now is staff only i guess so should the entrance i don't know why that wasn't either okay good <laughs> good that should probably be like that now over here we weren't really able to yeah, why, why do we have two doors there? Why did I do that? I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we weren't able to get metal detectors in here because those doors are all in the way. There's a couple ways that we could do it. And one of the suggestions was if we just move this uh, sort of yard door up, then we can get them here. But I think I kind of just want to move some of these, just flip these last few cells around. Because I think it will just work a little bit better. Uh, so if we dismantle those things there. And then we're going to have to do the same on these. As well, Let's select all these. I want to move those doors over one, and then this side. Uh, oh, this side's. Uh, I guess it's alright because these guys have to walk out through one of the other ones, so it's fine. This side should be fine because those doors are already in a better spot for us to work with. Now, power-wise, we're doing okay too. I was just like, do we have enough power to actually do all these metal detectors? We do, so that's good. So we're gonna put these guys in here. Get two there, and then there's gonna be three on this side eventually. Obviously, gonna have to remove all of that first. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the doors oh, in there, and there, and one there, and one here, and one there. Okay, good. Then we're going to get those walls back in on the other side. Beautiful. Those are no longer valid cells, so it's annoying because those prisoners are going to have to be escorted somewhere else. Where are the toilets? I don't see them in the... Oh, there. I don't see them in this menu. All right, so toilet there, just on the opposite side now. There you go. Whoops. Right there. And one there. Okay, so that why would you take that door up to there? You could have just put it on that one. So those are now always flipped around. Uh, the pipes actually do go far enough, so that's quite handy. So that should be... Oh, as I said, that should be a valid cell. It's not because I haven't put that toilet in yet. I thought it was in. I haven't actually built it yet. Alright, so those are in. Uh, and then we're going to get out the, the metal detectors. Which are now going to go here. Here. And here. There you go. So now all these guys have to be scanned through this area, whether they like it or not. All right. And then all these guys are also scanned. I don't think there's any way to avoid them here. Like this whole cell block basically has to go through these ones or these ones. Yeah. Probably also better to just have more around the prison in general too. We have another set there, which is good. Oh uh, yeah. You guys also suggested we should probably get some more serving tables because we have apparently enough to, uh, to, like to, to cook for everyone, but we don't have enough serving tables to actually, you know, put the food out. So probably a good idea. I might just put it here, you know. Mm, that's kind of weird though, isn't it? The thing about this game is you can overlap stuff and it really doesn't matter. Like I could put this here and it'd work fine. It doesn't look good though, does it? Uh, we can do it like this. It's only one square apart, so it looks weird. Maybe we do it here? No. Here? Mm. I don't... <clears throat> Mmm, that's really the only place I can put it, though, no, isn't it? I will, I will get that little Polaroid thing in a second, too. It's the only, only real place I can do it is there. And, whoops, and there. Alright, we'll do that for now. we have to redo this. Found 20 out of 177. Cool. Alright, so thanks. Can Go away. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Alright, now, I guess we eventually want to expand down there. That's what I was probably getting at. There's no power to any of those, so they're completely useless right now. So let's plug those in to the grid. 
Probably would be useful. That also has no power in there too. Oh yeah, there's the other thing. I want to turn off um, auto lights, as you guys suggested. Pro probably should do that. Probably should do that a while ago, to be honest. Right, so we need dog handlers and armed guards and all that. So we have, do we, I think we have everything we need. So let's get to uh, armed guards. Oh, okay, I can't put it in that. One, two. So I'll assign two armed guards for a patrol and then we need dog handlers as well. And it just wants me to assign two of them. So I'm going to go one, two, we'll get four. And then we'll do like the, the roots and all that. So dog patrol, uh, we'll go, should we have, let's do it in this hallway here. You know, we'll just get two dogs sort of walking up and down here. And then why don't we get, so we need an arm patrol. I guess maybe, because that's the only way out of the prison that I could see. Unless you, you know, obviously dig out of the prison. Uh, speaking of which, let's do a shakedown. Let's go a... Wait, where's that door? Door is here, I think, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Let's do an armed patrol. Walking up and down there. So along the road as you sort of come into the prison. And then maybe one through here. There you go. Not that we really need two of them there, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, so shakedown is underway. We need to... Uh, what else? No, nothing else. We need to plug in all this stuff that still isn't plugged in. Uh, <laughs> is what we need to do. So that should also power that light too, which is handy. Alright, so go do that. Uh, we got to have a look at some more grants now, because we don't have any at the moment. Hello, Grants. Uh, maximum security infrastructure implementation. Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor through bureaucracy. Unlock tasers. Build a C I feel like we've done most of that. We've done all of it. Okay, cool. All right, that was free money. Uh, the reform. Oh, I hate that one. Prison manufacturing facility. We could do the license plates one. Get a factory. Uh, let's do that. Produce sturdy license plates. Let's do that one. And maybe cell block D eventually. We'll have to do anyway to get it up to 200 prisoners. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a workshop somewhere. I can't really see what we're going to do it though. We might need to buy more land. How much is more land this way? That's going to be 20,000. Or if we go up, which I think up is actually going to be kind of harder because we didn't really design to build up because this hallway kind of gets cut off by all the buildings. I guess I could go through here somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Why? Oh, I guess they're all doing shakedowns. Well, let me build... Or we'll buy that. Yeah. No! I always get worried when I buy new land that the game is going to... Because back in the day, it never used to go well. 40,000 to buy that. Should we buy that? Let's do it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. It's mostly lake there. It's all right. So we've got a bunch of land now that we don't have... Don't need to worry about uh, expanding anytime soon. Uh, so another 40,000 that way. Oh, so only 30,000 that way. It's not too bad. All right, cool. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, what was the perfect size for the prison architect? Prison uh, uh, architect uh, workshop size. Because uh, it was 20 people, right? And then you have like the... I don't care about prior to Alpha 9. Maximum jobs is 20. Perfect optimal workshop. That's all I want to know. Oh my God, these... Things are so outdated. Um, workshop. Just tell me the size that it should be. Not the minimum size, the perfect size. Room job size capacity chart. 16 by 16. But it's not really what we want. We really want a 20 by... Because uh, if you get the layout... I think if I just plan the layout like I used to... Alright, well let's figure out where I want to do this. So this is obviously going to be like a hallway or something here. This will continue on. Maybe we even build it here in this bit. Oh, this would be quite good, actually. We can use existing walls. Actually, we're going to have to remove those. I think it was like 22 by something, wasn't it? I feel like that's kind of the size. Because we used to go... Maybe... No, you have tables on either side. So you go like four there, then you have a gap of like... And then you go like three, and then like three, and then like four, right? And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10. Now, it was either 22, which is this, or maybe it was like 23, and it's obviously smaller than that. So if we go 23 by 13, that doesn't sound right though, does it? It might have been 23 by 14, and you have a double hallway in the middle. I don't know. Was it 24? 
I don't know. Well, we, why don't we build this? Because then we'll build it, and then we'll see if it you know, if it's a maximum job of twenty people, then it's the right size. Because that's all it needs to be. So we're gonna go brick building here. I guess just build over all of that, and then this is gonna come out this way. Let's go to here. So that'll all build up. Now I think they did. We do a door permanently to the outside somewhere. No, I think we keep getting rid of the doors. Why don't we keep doing that? I th actually, no, that's what that was. That's why we had another door there, because that went to the outside originally, and now we don't have a way to get out. <laughs> that's why we had it. Alright, so this is going to go here, because we're going to need that. And then we're going to get out the utilities, we're going to get out the door servo, that's going to go bup, and we'll connect that up eventually. Once that's done, here comes the guy with the door. Who's got the servo? There's the guy with the servo. You got a servo, you got a door. Probably, because otherwise why would you have a servo? This guy had it. The door in, that should activate all these guys to start doing stuff, and they're like, oh, we can get out there. Yeah, there you go. Look at him go. Running. And the base keeps running, running, and running, running, and putting in the connection. Good. Now, deployment. Staff only, for the love of God. Uh, it's weird, though. It's weird that you can deploy this, because you normally can't just deploy outside, but because there's a lake, it like lets you deploy it, because the lake counts as a wall, surprisingly. Or well, maybe I should say unsurprisingly. Uh, did they replace that wall with brick or not? No, it stays concrete. Mm, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> that guy's running in circles. Ah, what do we do? I right, so all these guys are stuck outside now. Let's get another door. To, you know what? Before we... Actually, no, we're going to need a door to the outside. Let's get a door to the outside. Uh, we'll go from the common room here somewhere. That'll be fine. I mean, it'll probably turn into a building at some point. But for now, that'll go there. Somewhere. I don't know where, because you can't see it in this mode for some reason, so that's completely useless. So just below the O. Oh, you can't see the O, never mind. I mean, is the O even real? I don't know. Some women don't... I don't know where I'm going with that. I'll, I'll just stop there. Uh, good. I'll connect this one up to it when they get the door servo in. And then I'm going to actually... I want to build like a fence. Do I want to build a fence? I mean, there's really no point building a fence. Maybe I shouldn't. I just wanted to build a fence so that we had this area a little bit more secure, basically. Okay, can we have the, uh, where's the servo at? Here it is. Can I connect it as he's walking? That'd be impressive. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, you know what I forgot you could do in this? Hey, let's connect this up first. So once we connect these up, I forgot you could, um, I'm pretty sure, how do you do it? Hang on. Tidy, yeah, tidy wires. I forgot about this. And then you can, like, so you click on this, and then you can, like, move your wires and, like, put them through walls if you want. Oh man, I could spend out. Let's do this. Let's spend out. It's gonna have to go through the walls. I oh, know that wise. Stop doing uh, the stupid Bezier curves. I'm gonna have to do it like that. Uh, I'm gonna have to also not <laughs> actually do this because I don't want to do that. But yeah, you could, you could neaten up all these wires and make them look super, super tidy. Not gonna do that though, but if that's your thing, get on it. Right, so over here, this is going to be our workshop, which is going to be the room of workshop, which took me ages to find. So that's going to be here. It's going to be 21 by 12. That doesn't sound right. I feel like it was 22. I don't know. Anyway, so that's going to go there. Let's go deployment. 21 jobs, interestingly. But you can only have... Hmm. So why did you have 21 jobs? Also, I don't know why that's going all the way along there, because it really shouldn't be. Uh, well, that's going to be a brick wall there. And then we're going to go objects, large jail door. Did I actually account for the double wide in the middle here? Because I was supposed to. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Alright, so that's going to go there. Uh, I really wish it was daytime, because I want to change that wall to brick, because it's currently not. But I also can't see how far it goes, so I just have to demolish all of it. Alright, so they're going to come along, they're going to do that. Then we're going to turn that into a workshop. Then I'm pretty sure we have to train them with the foreman, so it might even be a good idea to move the foreman's office. It could even just be here, or like in this little gap that we have. Alright, waiting for daytime so we can see what's going on. Just build a regular wall there. Then I want to go foundations, build a room here. 7x7, seven seven. that's a pretty big room. 5x5, five five. That's, a, that's a good sized room. These guys are all stuck in there because they're idiots and they've walked in there. Um, here you go, here's a door I guess. Alright, now it's daytime so we can see again. Alright, we need to, I guess what we need to do is actually add lights in here because I turned off auto lights so probably should uh, add some in ourselves. But first, 
Let me get a door servo, which is in utilities, because I can't find it. I've been clicking on every other category. There you go. It's probably a good idea to get that in. And then we're going to go rooms. We're going to go brick wall. Oh, brick wall here and here. And this guy's going to have a door. you got a door. you got to jump. He's going to have a door here, because that's going to be an office now. Because why not? Why not take a crazy chance? And was that Hillary Duff? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> that's going to go there. And then we're going to get our filing cabinet. So that'll be the foreman's office. Then, that the garden is sweeping up the gravel there. Fantastic. This is just a rant. You know what? Why don't we set that as storage? It'd be kind of good because it's like outdoors. It's got a wall around it. It'd be kind of funny having that as storage. I like the idea of that. It's like next to the workshop. Could be a little storage area. Uh, I like that. We're going to do it. All right. So we need power down here, quite obviously, because we don't have any. So we're going to bring this all the way down. You know what we should probably do down here is get another power... Another power thing. A power another power cell. Let's get a a generator. Can we just do it down over here? Let's get a let's get a thing all the way down over here. Um because our well our power is gonna be five by five, correct? So we could do a room here. And then I don't want to do them right next to each other, but if we plan out to have two here. Because the thing the reason I don't want to do them right next to each other is because if that one blows up, I don't want it to destroy the other one. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to build this. Like this and all of that. <laughs> it's going to be all the way down to the bottom of the map. And it's going to have power cable running through. And then this will go all the way up to here because that would be handy. And then, we, I mean, we shouldn't ever need stuff going down here. So it should be fine. And that will go there. All right, we've got, I mean, we've got like $91,000. So like that's why I'm having a bit, a bit of fun with the money that we have right now. Um, I guess maybe we'll put them up here so they're all close to where they need to be. Let's go up to 30 workers just to speed up. Oh, 31. I was right clicking to not get another worker, but they just got another one. Uh, we need those cables here because that door is ridiculous. Uh, let me just, no. Oh. Just trying to click on the door. Hang on. Lock open. Because that's really slowing us down because there's no power in here. All right. Okay. So they should be getting those cables in. If we get a couple more connections, we should be good. Uh, looks like some of them are going down there now to build the the new power station, which is completely dis like separate from the rest of the prison. Because why not? I love how they do that. I lo I absolutely love how they leave one little cable just detached there for no particular reason. Um, but you know, to each their own. I mean, can we can we prioritize that, please? Just get that one done. Instead of I don't know why they decided not to do this. Oh, here they come. <laughs> Here's the one little dude carrying the cable. He's tired. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure you are tired, buddy. There you go. All right, so now that's done. That's good. Uh, that should be... Did I connect that? No, I didn't actually connect that yet, I don't think. Utilities. Connect. Nope. So that will be on this guy here, I guess. And then I'm just going to go back to... Uh, normal. There we go. Back to normal. Then we're going to go for some lights. Status light? Wait, what is a status light? Lights up either red or green depending on the signal it's receiving. Oh. I guess that's for um, the other logic gate stuff. Alright, so if we put lights here along these, so we leave a gap of one. I like how there's a cleaner in there too. So leave a gap. I don't know if that's enough lights, but we'll find out. Go here and there. Okay. So there we go. That'll go there. Obviously, we need something in the hallway too, but we'll, we'll get to it. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I just did. I told someone to go here, and I don't know who I told to go there. Apparently, those two dog handlers. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Stupid thing. Requires an entrance. All right, is this actually done? Uh, I'll do. We'll do like a staff door here, and then we can go like materials. Get like a uh, concrete tiles here or something. Get these to sort of join up to the pathway. That'd be kind of cool. And then maybe get some like lights here as well. Be nice along the pathway. Leave a gap of three. There you go. Look at that. It'd be beautiful. And then we'll have some lights here and here. I'll get some inside. There you go. All right. So they'll start doing that. How's it? Oh yeah. This is a. This is about building a prison, right? <laughs> There's a prison in this game, right? That we have to have to build. Yeah. No. 
Uh, I'm just going to put some down this hallway. I don't know how these are placed or how they're spaced, but whatever. This guy can have some lights. I guess this is outside technically, but we'll get some lights here. Uh, then I want to go to the staff. And I actually want to... No, not staff. I want to go to rooms. All the way up over here to the foreman. There, remove that. He should now be reus reassigned. He should now be all the way over here, so right next to the workshop, which I think makes a lot more sense. He also has a bigger office, so he can't be can't be mad about that. All right, so this is oh, this is all done. That was quick. All right, utilities. Obviously, not going to get two of these right now because there's no point. Oh, actually, that's a good. That's also a good point that we, you know, can't connect these to the same grid. Oh yeah, I did not think that through. Uh, well, what we can do is. We'll disconnect this section here because that's just going to be a bad idea. Uh, we can definitely get a second cable up and around. So what I'm going to do, we'll leave that cable in the ground. We'll get a second cable coming from this one. Which goes here. Oh yeah, I forgot that they, you can't join this at the same grid at all. Then I'll come along this way. This is fine. As long as another cable's touch, we're all good. I'm just going to go through the walls. That's my current plan. Okay, go through there. And then, you know what, I'll just come straight along this way. Then we'll go up. i will go to that. Alright, so they can, I think they can access all of those areas. I think they can build under walls, no problem. Alright, so that'll go there. And then we're going to get out, oh my god, so many electrical cables I have to build right now. Get the capacitors all the way around that. There you go. We've still got $72,000 after my ridiculous purchasing and spending on this place. Oh, man. It's all good, though. It's all good. Alrighty. They're going to do that. They can't get there, though, apparently. Even though they really should... Oh, they can now. Maybe it was just a person stuck somewhere. So, are we... Wait, are we feeding everyone? That's... You know, that's something we've really not been looking at is needs. Food. Are there still a few hungry people? Do we need more staff, maybe? Do we need more cookers, maybe? I mean, they're not using all of them, so maybe we need more staff. We have five cooks. Let me get, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things. Let's get eight cooks. I think that'll definitely be more than enough. I hope. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep a closer eye on that because I've really not been paying attention at all. Uh, right. So we're going to have a look at the power cable, which they are going to be, you know, putting throughout the building. It's good. They're doing it randomly as per usual. I mean, if they could just do it in a single line, that'd probably be great. But uh, we can't we can't all have what we want, so staff only. There you go. Alright. I mean the kennel should probably also be staff only. Storage? I mean foreman's office can be staff only. Alright, well let's go over here. I guess what I do actually need to do is remove that utility now. Well at least disconnect it from the top bit. Cause we'll uh wait, is that removing that? Don't no don't. Don't. No, don't. <laughs> don't remove that utility. Remove the cable. Because it just needs to connect to the bottom one, not the top one. Oh my god, look at them. They're taking the, the piles of cable from there, walking all the way across. All my prisoners coming in here to clean up. Good stuff, guys. Hey, at least someone's keeping the prison clean, you know? Alright, so that's disconnected. Now we can plan that out to be connected there. And then we can also plan out all these objects to be put in. So we're going to go workshop uh, saws. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There you go. This is like costing me no money at all, I swear. I mean, it feels like we're not losing money. Or not spending money, I guess. There you go. And then we'll put the table here instead. Then we'll leave a gap of two because there's a door there. We'll go down the bottom. Wait, where did we do? We did it one off. I, could, I mean, I could have planned this out a little bit, I guess. I'll do it like this. I'll put these ones at the bottom because then we have a gap of two either side of the middle tables, which is quite good. Like that, and then maybe we'll get some bins. That'll probably be a good idea. I don't know if they'll use the bins, but if they need to, they can. There you go. Right, so that's the workshop built. Well, planned anyway. Uh, eventually, once they get all the cabling in, that'll be good. Have they built this yet, I wonder? No, oh, wait, have they? No. No, still to do. Okay, so they haven't done most of that. They've done a lot of this one, though, which is good stuff. It goes here. Still a couple of gaps there. Oh, you know what? They actually can't get there because that's... Yeah, I see. They, they can get there if I do a door, though. So I'll do a little door there. And then maybe we can have this as like a little staff patio area because it's out of the staff room. That's kind of cool. Can I do like a little... 
So go out. Can we put like a little seats out here? Oh, that'd be so good. Oh no, I can't do that. But we'll do like up to there. And then can I get like little benches out here? Uh, I don't really have benches though, do I? I mean, they do have benches, but... <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just put a cool little seating area. There you go. Make some of those. Can we get like a... Not a decorative item or something. There's not really much in the way of decoration zone in this game, is there? Uh, da, da, da. This is all the items that we have. There's really nothing. I could put a tree, but it's huge. And not in a pot. There's nothing really to put there. I guess I could put a bin. There you go. There's a little patio area at the back. That's lovely. Then they can put the cables there at least. Except for that bit that I cancelled apparently. So do that one. That guy's stuck there somehow, so you're fired. Uh, I don't know how he managed to get there. And he probably put the cable and he's like, Oh, let me teleport out this way. Good. And then he's like, no, nope, that's it. Oh, and can we also do that bit? Oh. I heard it go, ching ching if we connect that one, okay, no, if we connect that cable, it'll actually go all the way through. I think that's actually all done now. Yeah, nice. It's got to connect all these up on that side. All these cables. And then we'll have a fully functioning workshop. That just needs to have people actually working in it. And uh, hopefully progressing. Oh, that's nice. There's like a discolored sort of line there where they've sort of dug up the ground and clearly that's where they put the cable. I don't know how it did that. That's nice. Uh, Alright, so then... There's a little staff room, little sort of balcony out the back. I like that. Uh, is that all connected now? It is. Fantastic. I mean, it's a little bit of a roundabout way to go, but it's the way we had to go, so... Now, how is that uh, on the grid? We got so much power on this grid. Like, it's a full full generator just for this one workshop. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, Alright, so now what we got to do, we got to go to... Uh, de not deployment. Oh, actually, well, yeah. Logistics... Do we apparently have 21 people in there, but I mean, we'll assign 21 people. Obviously, we've got no one that's actually qualified yet. Uh, so we've got to do the program to make it happen. Uh, let's have a look. We need the workshop safety induction. Where did it go? Disappeared. Workshop. There it is. Do two of them. Still 21 interested, except we can only really do one. We'll do one class at a time then. All right, so the follow will teach those. That'll be good. We should probably... You know what? We should definitely get down here. It's freaking metal detectors. We didn't really design this room to have metal detectors anywhere near it. So that's not a good good design. <laughs> that's that's not good. They've put metal sheets on the floor. Lovely. Um, well, we can put them here. I think what we'll do, we'll do it like this. So you, you go through the door and then through the metal detectors, depending on which way you go. I think I will actually dismantle those utilities there, though. And then connect, I might as well connect it to the new grid. Uh, so there we go. And then there. So those will connect up that way. All right, then I also do want to get some security cameras in here because that's probably a good idea. Because uh, we cannot see what's going on here in this room at all. I'm going to get four of them. One in each corner to really surveil. Surveil? Yeah. <laughs> By surveil, I obviously mean survey. But we'll surveil the room. Uh, how many are on these? I don't know. This is a little spider web. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's get one more, can it? Uh, I think. I don't really remember how it works. Oh, wait, hang on. This one's already switching. Wait. Well, first of all. So that one is switching through two of them. So that one was already maxed out. Okay, hang on. Can I, um... How do I, uh, oh god. Clear, clear connections. There we go. Because we didn't want to do that. So we have eight, I guess is the maximum on each. I probably should have double checked that, but whatever. So we can use the other one, which has only got four. So we go five, six. There we go. Seven, eight. Correct? There should be no cycling of cameras. Perfect. All right, so that's there. We can now see into the room, which is good. We've got metal detectors at the top, which is probably pretty important for a freaking workshop. It's such a long walk from the front, though. And our deliveries and imports area is so dodgy. Like, it's so small. I think we what we really need to do is probably 
actually end up moving this entire canteen here in the kitchen and then have a bigger delivery area and sort of shift all the... Because then if we did that, all the prisoners would be from this point to th this side. At the moment, they have to all walk down this way to the, the canteen, which is not ideal. There's better ways to do it. But uh, we're going to leave this part here because we've done the workshop. We did the new power generator thing down the bottom, which I guess... Oh, yeah, it's already it's already uh, stuff, I think. Good. I don't know where another cable would go, though. I mean, we built that one there. I guess it would have to, like, come around. We'd probably have to readjust some stuff. But it, it, we can fit it in there. We can, we can fit it in. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.